In this video I will show you several ways to paint the lightning on the Realm Shaper engine of the Seraph. Hello, this is 60 Goblins and One Brush with another painting video. We will paint the lightning part of the Realm Shaper engine. I have two Realm Shaper engines here, one in grey and one in white. And we will only paint the top part in two different styles. I will show you two different styles how to paint the lightning part. And um, you need the following colors. You need Retributor Armor and Reichland Flash Aid Gloss, if you like. Then you need either Talasa Blue or Ethermatic Blue or Soulstone Blue. The colors will be in the in description in the description below. And you need white, for example, Corex white. Before I start with the gray pyramid, I sprayed it in Wraith Bone, or Corex white would be just as well, the whole top part, because it's easier to paint white on white instead of gray. So we will start with both of them. To paint the golden parts. That means here the circle, the ball in the middle and these trusses or idols that hold the whole thing. So this first the gold. The neater you are with the gold the less you have to clean up later. So I painted all the gold parts first and then we have to clean everything where I messed up, where I painted gold on the lightnings, I have to clean it up now with Corox white or any other white. But before we do that, so that we don't have to do it twice, if you like, that's an optional step, you can use Reitland Flash Shade or Reitland Flash Shade Gloss to shade the gold. If you want to do that, do that first. Here you can see the difference. The gray one has the shade, Reitland Flash Shade Gloss, and the white one doesn't. So it gives much more depth to all these runes. Uh, I think it's worth it. I think this step is worth it. Of course the shade means you have to wait longer for the whole thing to dry. The shade usually takes 10-15 minutes to dry, sometimes longer depending on temperature, humidity and so on. And if you want to dry brush later, you can do this later. Just be careful not to mess up the white again. Also, there are little patterns here on the idols. You can paint them later if you want to add some red or blue. You can all do this later. It doesn't, ha it doesn't have anything to do. It's not impinging on the lightnings. But the next step is... So now everywhere you got gold or Reitland Flash Shade, you have to clean it up with white. And then we're almost done. The last step is really easy. So I will use a fine detail brush or detail brush and Corox White. Corox White is relatively thick. So you need a big brush, scoop some out, put it on your palette, add some water until it has the right consistency and then you can always dip your small brush in. There's no point in dipping the whole brush into the bottle all the time, not with this color. And then you start on painting the white. It's quite opaque, this new white. It's a relatively new color and works quite well. Not on top of black, but on almost any other color. Okay, see you in a moment. In case you managed to get any of the white onto the gold now, now is your opportunity to fix that. Then we are off to the next step. You have three or four possibilities. First of all, Ethermatic Blue. Second of all, a mixture of Ethermatic Blue and Talasa Blue or both. Then um, only Talasa Blue. And fourth possi possibility, Soulstone Blue. And after that is dry, which in all of these colors it takes a really long while, you can dry brush it a little bit with gold. And when I say dry brushing, I say take a detail brush and br and paint only the very raised, some of the very raised areas. Don't do any dry brushing. It will create streaks 
and then you messed up your well done job. So on one model, the darker model I will use first ethermatic blue and then a little bit of Talassa blue. And on the lighter model I will use Soulstone blue and then let's compare. Then we can see all three colors in action. You can take a large brush for this but don't put too much onto the brush as to avoid pooling. You don't want to, the color to pool at places you don't like them to. You want it to spread evenly. In case you get any of the three blue colors onto the gold, it doesn't matter. It's the shining effect. It will even look more natural. With the ethermatic blue I would cover everything, but with the soulstone blue I wouldn't. Just do it as similar to dry brushing only with too much paint and leave a lot of white spaces. Okay, now we have two to compare. This is the ethermatic blue and this is the soulstone blue. So, yeah, both look really good. I'll show you pictures later. Now we will compare the Talassa blue with the soulstone blue. So let's see how two colors look like. I painted the Talassa blue next to the gold and left the ethermatic blue in the middle. And that looks actually quite nice. Yeah, I like it. In comparison... Okay, both looks quite good. Actually, the Talassa blue might really be the best color for this. By mistake, some of the Talassa blue... I wanted to try the difference between Soulstone and Talassa blue. And by mistake, some of the Talassa blue went into one crack of that golden ball here. And it actually looks really good. Okay, so I put some of the Talassa blue around the Soulstone blue in the middle. Quite nice. If you mess up any of the gold surfaces with the Talassa blue, then you have to clean it up with gold again. Now we have to let it dry. Okay, last step. I touched up with a fine detail brush only the raised areas of the lightnings that were blue to get some white back on it. That's number one. That's number two. And now let's look at some pictures. One possible extra step would be to take Sycharon's Bronze or Runefink Steel and dry brush the gold a little bit. Or draw some lines on the raised areas of the gold to give it some more highlighting. But that's optional. Okay, that looks quite nice. I like all the colors. The ethermatic blue by itself looks great, the Talassa blue by itself looks great, the Soulstone blue looks great by itself. The combination of ethermatic blue and Talassa blue, or Soulstone blue and Talassa blue looks great. There's nothing you can do wrong with it. Also the touching up, the dry brushing in parentheses is really easy. The only thing is, the only difficulty is to separate the gold from the lightning. There in the beginning you have to fix up some mistakes but otherwise it's a simple job and it looks really great. So thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing and see you very soon with more painting videos and more Lumineth videos. Mm -hmm.